Marshawn. The marvelous Marshawn has. All praise is on this glorious Shabbat day that the Lord made for us to rejoice, reflect, and to learn and to congregate with each other. We are here to tell y'all that we are the dear children of God, God's chosen children, the Hebrew Israelites. And this book is your history, your heritage, your dietary law, everything that you want to know, your wisdom, the prophecy. This is your book. This book only belongs to you. All right? So, matter of fact, we got uh, Psalms 68 and 11. In Psalm 68 and 11. The Lord gave the word. Don't come up here asking me who wrote the Bible. The Lord gave the word. The white man did not write this Bible. Contrary to indoctrination, the white man did not write this Bible. The white man has nothing to do with this Bible. In fact, in the 1500s, the Roman Catholic Church, they read the first versions of the English Bible and they set them on fire. They burnt them up because they could not identify with the reality of the situation that they didn't pertain to the blessings and the promises and the service of God. They couldn't believe in a wicked mind that they could do all the evil on earth and then still have a relationship with the God. So don't come up here saying that King James uh, is a white man and King James is a homosexual. Absolutely false. Read a book called The Basilicon Duran and that'll show you King James is not a homosexual. King James had eight kids and he even instructed his sons to do away with effeminate and homosexuality. This is your book and if it wasn't for King James, would he, he, these white people have us out here praying trees, praying to a fire hydrant. Thank God for King James for even after the Catholics burnt the original versions of the Bible, he went back to the hieroglyphics and the scrolls and he translated it for us. To know, he beat them to the punch. He put it in their language. All right, give me that Joshua right here. This is the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse eight. Uh -huh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, uh -huh. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. By this book of the law, you should meditate day in and day out, and you will prosper in everything that you do. What you got to lose by doing what God said? What you got to lose? Keep the commandments. Do the things God requires you to do. What you got to lose? We are already losing in every single category of life. Wealth, health, education, what do you got to lose for turning back to the Bible and doing exactly what this book tells you to do? Absolutely nothing. Y'all comfortable in captivity. That's why. Um, give me, uh, see, see, because honestly, man, you know, like, you know, I mean, we're living in the last days, man. We know this, man. It's not even about black and white no more. This is a spiritual battle between good and evil, man. Simply stated, a spiritual battle between good and evil. So either you gonna return and be righteous, or you're going to be condemned with the judgment of this place because the Most High going to crack the sky and set this place on fire, man. This place is going to burn. Too much wickedness, too much pollution of the land, too much rape, rob, and murder. You think that this place is going to be in, in the kingdom? Absolutely not. The Most High ain't planned. As a matter of fact, give me, um, real quick, give me um, Psalms 94 and 16. You give me Psalms 97 and 10. Most I ain't playing out here with y'all, man. This ain't no game, man. Read. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me? It's a lot. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Uh -huh. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? If you ain't realized by 2021 that everybody down here does not have a moral conscience, Everybody down here is not looking to do righteous. Everybody down here has their own agenda to be wicked. If you don't see that by now, I can't help you see it. Give me Psalms of bring that out. Bro. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. One more time. Ye that love the Lord hate 
evil. So the Most High God is drawing a distinction in this book between good and evil, righteous and unrighteous. Now my question is, what side are you going to be on? Matter of fact, give me that First Corinthians 10 and 21. Which side are you going to be on? He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Uh, he preserves the soul of the righteous. The souls of the righteous will be preserved from judgment. This place will not exist like this in the form that it is years from now. This place will be destroyed, man. You know, so you better pick a side. The Lord, the, the, the Most High, want to know who's going to rise up for me against the workers of iniquity, against the workers of evil, against the workers of injustice. Who's going to rise? Now we fight each other twenty-seven, twenty-four-seven. We fight each other, neighborhood all day long, neighborhood beef. But who, who going to actually fight for righteousness, man? For righteousness, Nick. Who going to fight for that? Uh, Ain't no game out here, man. Bring this up. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter ten, verse twenty-one. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot drink from the cup of the Lord and cup of the devils. So if you didn't hear nothing I said before, he just read that precept. You better pick a side. The line has been drawn in the sand. Read that one more time. One more time. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Yeah, so don't be coming up here saying, oh, yeah, 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 I believe in God, and you ain't pertaining to the relationship because the Most High said in this Bible, he don't hear sinners. If you ain't doing what he said, you can pray all you want. If you're not following his requirements, his commandments, he's not dealing with you. It's just that simple. You better pick a side. All right, a lot of y'all justify. Matter of fact, give me that. That's uh, 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 Isaiah 5 and 20. A lot of people justify wicked. No people ain't doing right. No little kids is getting touched. No crime is happening. Justifying murder. Free this person. That person shot somebody, grandmother the house up. You free and free. For what? Keep his ass in there. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Woe to them that call good evil and evil good. Whoa, that means death and destruction. That's what that means. You gonna either be on the righteous side or you gonna be on the unrighteous side. It ain't, it ain't about black and white all the time. It's good and then there's evil. Because the only thing worse than a racist is a chocolate covered corn. Keeping these white people with their wicked agendas and their wicked imaginations and their wicked justifications for doing anything they wanna do to you. Give me uh, Isaiah 82. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Yeah, to the law and to the testimony. We gonna speak exactly what the scriptures say. We not gonna use our own words. But unfortunately, we have people and systems set up with indoctrination to lie to us each and every single Sunday, which is why we got people out here breaking the most high commandment. The most high said, keep my Sabbath day holy. Holy means separate. Nothing that you did the first six days you should be out here doing right now. Nothing. It's supposed to be doing nothing out here, man. Give me, um, that's right. First John. No, give me John 5 and 20. John 5 and 20. We got order, man. We got order. And see, that's why we so out of control down here, man. Ain't no order, man. This book is our order. This book is our moral conscience. This book is our righteousness. This book is our wisdom. But you think the white man wrote it. Y'all think the white man wrote this book when the same book condemns the white man for all the injustice that they doing to y'all, man. How? How could you dare say that? Uh, give me... um. First John 5 and 19. That's what it is. First John 5 and 19, man. Y'all better stop playing, man. We running out of time. You better get right with God. You better get right with God. This is the book of... This is the book of First John, chapter 5, verse, verse 19. Joel 9 and 24. And we know... That we are of God, and that in the whole world lieth 
in wickedness. He said, we know that we above God, the people were moral conscious and that this whole world lies in wickedness. I don't need the Bible to tell y'all that. Look up, what do you see? Use your eyes. Do you not see wickedness 24 seven? Is that not what you see? You don't believe me? I read again. Read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. The Most High gave the wicked people the keys to this place for our discernment to detach from these people, to return back to him to do differently. We ain't associated with everybody else. And God does not love everybody. That's not written nowhere in this entire Bible. Give me 1 John 2 and 15. We know that this earth is wicked, and I don't need the Bible to tell you that. We can clearly see that. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world. Love not the world. He told us to love not the world. Give me John 17 and 9. He told us to love not the world. Love not the world. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And see, that's how you know ain't nobody really reading this book. They say, oh, God love the world. God love everybody. It's the difference between world and earth. And you gonna learn that. Bring this up. This is the book of Judge at the 17 verse 9. I pray for you. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Now, what, letter, okay, now, what color letters are those? Red. Red letters meaning what? Who you call Jesus Christ? Yahweh Shah Mashiach wrote this. Okay, so y'all saying, oh, God, because of John 3.16, God so loved the world, and I could just be as wicked as I want to be, and I'm going to be saved because he knows. Incorrect. Jesus died so that you wouldn't face judgment and death for being wicked. That's why he died. But you still have to obey the commandments of the Father. You ain't off the hook. You got something? No. This is the book of Judges, the 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Simply stated. So while we have people standing up in church every Sunday telling you and everybody else that the law is done away with, just love people all you want when I just told you what love is right here. Read that one more time. If you love me, keep my commandments. You can't separate one from the other, man. Love go with doing what the most high God say. What? What sense does it make? <laughs> what sense does it make that I don't have to do what God said? That's like telling me I don't have to listen to my parents. That's complete foolishness. And you have indoctrinated men with their indoctrinated customs misleading the holy people of God. But guess what? You ain't gonna get away with that. Give me uh, Jeremiah 23 and one. You know, I bet the pastors ain't gonna ever read this in church. You give me Deuteronomy, oh, you got it already? Uh, uh, Marsha, give me uh, Deuteronomy 18, 18 and 20. If you love me, keep my commandments. It says, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse one. Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. And I told you already, woe means death and destruction. That ain't nothing good. Woe means death and destruction. Read that one more time, anyhow. It says, woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. See? Woe, death and destruction to the pastors. I bet you every single dollar ever printed in the country that no pastor would stand on the podium and read that verse to you. He ain't going to do that. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 18. You have to start. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 20. Uh -huh. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak the word, a word in my name, uh -huh. which I have not commanded him to speak, uh -huh. or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. The prophet shall die. The prophet shall die. The Most High sent his righteous man out here to speak completely in correlation to what this Bible is actually saying, to give out the verbatims. And the reason why that is, is because in the church in the old days, the slave master will sit in church with this indoctrinated uh, 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 doctrine and make sure that the pastor was saying everything he wanted you to know. He didn't read you the Bible. He gave you the information that he wanted us to know. He used to sit in church. Now fast forward all the way to the year 2021. He ain't in church no more. Now they get paid a lot to you. They get paid a lot to you. Now stay there. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 
18 and uh, 18. This is an assignment. Everybody don't have the will to put the truth out here, and this is why we don't know who we are. This is why we still out here confused. This is why we still out here killing each other. This is why we still can't put our money together. This is why we still can't rise above the simple methods of self-hate. This is why. Read this. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18. I will rise up them. I will rise them up, a prophet from among their brethren. A prophet from among their brethren, your race, your nationality, your nation of people, read. Like unto thee, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto, the, unto them all that I shall command him. He said that the prophets was going to speak all of the words that he commanded us to speak. And the learned men that you see up here speak those words in, in, in correlation to the verbatim and the context of this Bible, which they never wanted you to know, which is why they said, if you want to hide something from a black man, you do what? You put it in a book. Well, what book was they talking about? Dr. Seuss? Goosebumps? No, they was talking about this Bible. It's your book. That's why. And only you, my so-called black Hispanics, Native Americans, Mexicans, Caribbeans, Jamaicans, and the Haitians, the Panamanians and the Hawaiians, only you pertain to the specific relationship of God's chosen people. Yes, God did create everybody, but he did not create everybody in his magnificence and in his reflection. We can clearly see that because it's more evil than good on the earth. Give me that in Deuteronomy 76. In a second, in a second. Not yet. <laughs> this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people. For thou art a holy people. Holy means separate. Holy means set apart, sacred, separate. We unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto themselves above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. Now we are equal. I'm going to start with the top. Huh? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Above all people. Above all people. But your pastor telling you that God loved everybody and the Constitution told you, oh, that every man is created equal. And they lie to your face because we all don't get treated equal. We all don't get the same money. We all don't have the same wealth. They only gave us access to a certain percentage of wealth. All this money in this country, they gave you access to 1% of it. Probably, probably not even that. Read this. First Chronicles 16 and 13. This is the book of 1st Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 13. O ye seed of Israel, O ye seed of Israel, not America, not Africa, not Egypt, Israel, we, O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Uh-huh. He is the Lord our God. He is the Lord our God. He said the seed of Israel the children, the children that come from Jacob, he is the Lord our God. Give me that in Joel 2 and 27. He is the Lord our God. I ain't standing up here lying to you. We ain't up here saying what we want to say. We read the Bible. Something even your holy beloved pastors would never do. He ain't going to do that. You got that, you got that, Joel 2 and 27. You got that, Joel 2 and 27. This is the book of St. Mark, chapter 12, verse 29. And, you have, and Jesus said, answered him, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, uh -huh. the Lord our God uh -huh. is one Lord. The Lord our God. But wait, every single race of people prays. We all think that, oh, one God pertains to us all. Absolutely not. Yes, he created everybody, but then he gives his service, his, 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 his relationship, his duties to all nations? Absolutely not. Give me Romans 9 and 4. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy 2 and 27. We, I, what I'm doing, we're going to highlight the specific relationship between 
our people and the most high God and that he does not deal with everybody. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. He said, I am the Lord your God. Wait a minute. Read that one more time. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. He said he in the midst of Israel. He didn't say, uh, I'm in the middle of America. I'm in the middle of the whole universe. I'm in the middle of Africa. I'm in the middle of Asia. No, he didn't say, he said, I'm in the midst of Israel, which means the middle, and I am the Lord your God and none else. Read this. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great happiness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. He said, my brother, this is Paul speaking, who is an Israelite. He said, I wish I was a curse from Christ because my brethren, according to the flesh, not everybody, we, who are Israelites. Who are who? Who are Israelites? No, Americans. Who are Israelites? No, Canadians. Israelites. Africans. Israelites. Japanese. Israelites. Egyptians. Who are Israelites? Okay, read. To whom pertaineth the, the adoption uh -huh. and the glory uh -huh. and the covenant uh -huh. and the giving of the law uh -huh. and the servants of God what? and the promises. And the promises. And the promises. The covenant, the service of God to represent God and do I need the Bible to tell you that? That God chose our people to be the greatest people on the face of the earth? No. Look at sports. Look at entertainment. Who dominates? This place thrives off everything we do. If it wasn't for us, they couldn't run any companies. They can't run no machines. They, they, they can't, we, we can't eat out of nobody's pockets. He gave us the glory. I don't need the Bible to tell you that. You can see it in yourself. Some of y'all be like, oh, I, 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 I can actually feel it. Feel it, but I don't believe in God. I'm just spiritual. Give me uh John 4 and 22. I, I, I don't I don't believe in God, but I'm a spirit. I, I, I'm a spiritual person. If you can feel that, you should be able to identify with what the book said in 4 and 24. God is a spirit. God is a what? A spirit. Read it. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. And in truth, if you going to worship the spiritual God, the supreme spirit of this universe that created this universe, you're going to do it in wisdom and truth. Don't come up here asking me, is God real? No, the question is, who made the ocean? Don't say the white man did it. They ain't got that type of power. That's right. Don't come up here speaking no foolishness. If you're going to represent God, you're going to do it in spirit and in truth. And you're going to stay away from evil. It's just that simple. We all, we, we game bang all day long. We loyal to games. We loyal to that. Now be loyal to the Father. Who going to stand up with the Most High God to stray away from this evil, to reinstall the moralness of this place? Shalom, brother. Who going to do that? Who going to do that? There's too much wickedness going on. This, this, this whole place is immoral. If you ain't realized about 2021, it's only so many people on this surface with moral consciousness. And unfortunately, none of them people around the country. All right? Give me, uh, yeah, uh, 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 give me Matthews, give me Matthews uh, 15 and 24. No, wait, no, 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 no. Matthew 7 and 38. Because, see, the Most High don't hear sinners. If you ain't praying, if you ain't following these commandments, if you ain't keeping those feast days, if you if, if you wicked, if you talking down on people, if you eating bad food, the Most High is not dealing with you. And guess what? Just because you think you can pray, that don't mean he's dealing with you. Your pastor ain't going to tell you to see. We're going to tell you the truth up here. Give me that. This is the book of uh, St. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, what colors are those? Red. That's Christ speaking. Read that one more time. Not everyone 
This is the book of St. Matthew 7 and 21. Uh -huh. Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. I thought God and Jesus loved everybody. <laughs> he said, just because you're praying to me, I don't need you going to heaven. Hey, 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 but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Uh huh. He that doeth the will of my Father. See, a lot of people say, oh, it's Moses' law. Oh, it's Jesus' law. It ain't neither of them law. It's always been a mediator between the two. They, the, the Most High God never spoke directly to us. It's always been more of a spiritual thing, man. Go ahead, man. Bring that up. This is Book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. Bring the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou hatest. All workers of iniquity. Oh, no, I thought God don't hate nobody. Wait, read that last part one more time. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity, man. That means sin. That means wickedness. That means just, just, just pure. Oh, man, give me that, man. Matthew uh, fifteen and twenty-four. Because the pastor gonna tell you Jesus died on the cross that everybody could be saved. No, not true. Y'all better read this Bible. That man, that man care more about a dollar than your salvation. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. He answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent. Wait, wait, wait. What? What color? Red. Red. Meaning what? That means Christ, bro. That means Christ is speaking, man. This is red. Christ said he ain't coming to save everybody. How y'all doing, Sister Shalom? He's not coming to save everybody. And unfortunately, due to the indoctrination, we've been lied to. This is why we sin it on the Lord's holy day. The Lord told us to keep this day separate. Don't do nothing that you could have did the first six days today. You know what you got? Go ahead. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever, whoso, whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is transgression of the law. See? And see, that's the whole setup of the indoctrination that started all the way back in the BCE era. The, the slave masters knew once they had us in captive, just make them live completely contrary to the word of God. Whatever the word of God say do, make them do the exact opposite. That's because right. they knew by you doing that, you stray away from your power. Matter of fact, give me that uh, 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 Revelations 2 and 21. I'm going to prove what I just said. See, I ain't no punk pastor. I'm going to prove exactly what I said. That's right. Reading the Bible from the scriptures, not my own words. Okay? This ain't no theory. This ain't no feel good. This is accountability and structure. Either you're going to get with this or you're going to be put to death, man. It's that simple, man. Give, give me Revelations 2 and uh, uh, 27. 20, 20, 20. To them when I get power over. Yeah, 26. 26. Huh. This is the book of Deuteronomy 2 and 26. Uh -huh. Revelation 2 and 26. Read it out. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. He said, if you keep my works until the very end, I'm going to give you power over the nations. That means even the people who brought us over here in slavery. That means them too. That means all the wicked doers. That means all these business owners that got foreign businesses in your community. You going to be running the show in a second if you keep this works to the end. That's right. Wait, let me, uh, wait, I, I, I went too fast. Give me Genesis 2 and 1 because... I got to get y'all to understand, man. Because everybody will come up here and say you got a relationship with God. And, oh, I, 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 I know. I, because I can feel in my heart, in my soul, I'm doing what God want me to do. No, you're not. If you are here shopping, the Lord is upset with that, man. And ain't nobody going to tell y'all the truth. You know what I mean? Come over here with this. Come over here. Come over here real quick. Shalom, sister. We are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, we are God's chosen children, and so are you. And we're here to tell you that you have a, a specific relationship with the Most High God that all nations won't share. Okay, and this is why we've been indoctrinated with, with nonsense because we never knew because we never read this book. And we think that the pastors and church are actually on our side when they were set up by the government to keep us in a not sound state of mind to lie to us. So, do you believe, do you believe in God? Okay. Okay. 
Uh, what, is, uh, what is the most high God? What do, you, what do you think God wants you to do? Okay, so how do you show God you love him? Americans, we are the Israelites that this Bible speak of. Read. And now, Israel, uh -huh. what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear means to respect. Okay. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul. Okay, 13. I'll give it 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, so that so I do it. So we said to keep the commandments, sister. How many commandments? Is it? Twelve. What if I was to tell you it's six hundred and thirteen? No, no, no. But see, see, not just you. Everybody. This is why. So why you think it's so much death, destruction? See, like, listen. We've normalized trauma. So much trauma happened, we think it's normal. We think it's normal to shoot up an 80-year-old grandma house. We think, I, 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 not, not us up here, of course, but, but just the, the general of our people, they don't have that. They don't have it. You see what I'm saying? So the reason why is because we were never told the truth of this book. Now, even though it's not really written for everybody, it ain't meant for everybody. And we can see, I don't even like to tell you that, that it, it, it's not meant for everybody. Because everybody's not going to get it. Everybody's not going to listen no way. However, the righteous people, the most high God, require things from you to serve him. And if you want to be blessed the way you feel you should deserve to, hearken to the words in this book. Read this. This is the book of St. John. Chapter 14, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay, now listen. That's what Jesus said, right? Oh, go ahead. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So the most high God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Not the 10, the 613 commandments. If you want to sit at the highest level, keep all them commandments. Okay? Give me away, but guess what? You don't read that again. You got that first time? No, 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 14 and 15. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 11. Uh -huh. And all Israel shall hear uh -huh. and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. Okay, so after you got this word, okay, now you naturally know you, you don't even get over anybody. I can tell you. You got a humble spirit, you, you got a righteous spirit. You look at the do right. You look at homeless people as if they can be God just like us. Because guess what? There ain't none of us really blessed in this position. We just, some of us just more poor than the other That's really what it is. Ain't nobody got no real money down here. Why does they give us access to no real money? So the fact that you can look at a bum and still consider him value, you blessed already. We read the first John uh, 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 5 and 3. That's the one I have right now. This might be one. Okay, read it. 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 The love of God. For this is the love of God. What do you think the love of God is? No, we told you that if you love God, you keep his commandments, right? Okay, so now, so now I'm about to read it to you and read that. For this 
is the love of God. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are grievous. This is some of his commandments. Some of his commandments is don't talk bad about nobody. Don't speak, don't, don't, don't talk down on nobody. But just like those, we're fringes. We're fringes. You know, uh, for the, it's, 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 it's easy stuff to do, but it's dietary law too. Certain foods you're not even supposed to consider. Pork, you ain't even supposed to even consider that. But guess what? Shrimp, crab, lobster, oh, amazing. Hey, 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 take your pen and write this down. Hey, and, and, and why do you think that was? Like that was just natural, right? Wasn't that just natural? Yeah, give her that pen. Um, the dietary law is Leviticus chapter 11, right? Because nobody else is going to tell us this stuff, man. You ain't supposed to eat everything, but guess what the enemy do? He's crafty. He'll tell you, shrimp, crab, lobster fest, rare lobster. Come get your shrimp, crab, and lobster. Why ain't never no salmon? No cod. <laughs> no perch fest. You know what I'm saying? It, it's all the foods you ain't supposed to <laughs> it's all the foods that you ain't supposed to eat. They shove down your throat and make it seem like a delicacy. Yeah, you know, my body it as a child. Naturally, that's how you know you're the children. You, you're a child of God. That's how you know that. All right. Um. Hey, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, one. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. Bring it out, swine. Though he divided the hook and be clothed and footed. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. Uh -huh. Of their flesh ye shall not eat. Of their carcass ye shall not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. It's unclean. See y'all, this stuff is more spiritual than you think. Don't think just because you can eat, just because you can drink and you can do something that you should. You have to use your discernment, mental discernment. Matter of fact, the first time I ate a shrimp, I threw up. The first time I ever had a shrimp cocktail, I threw up instantly. I was like nine years old, dude. Why do you think that is? And even when you buy shrimp, it's dirty. Even when you buy shrimp, it's dirty. Crab, lobster, roaches, bottle crawlers, tilapia. The precept brother just read pork. I don't need the Bible to tell you pork is bad for you. Do I need that? Can't you see that? Can't you see that? Pork is bad for you. Gout, high blood pressure, all of the above. And see, the slave masters fed that down your throat because they knew the word of God said, Look, you don't, don't even eat no pit, and that's what they gave you the most of. To keep you separate from your power. It's a simple strategy, man. This stuff is one plus one. Matter of fact, give me uh, Psalms 19 and 4. But this, but this stuff is simple, man. This stuff is simple. It's simple. I'm going to keep these people destroyed, make them live completely contrary to the word of God. Simply stated. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 4. 19, 7, 7, 7, yeah, yeah, 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Make your wise to make your wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Wisdom is simple. Wisdom is not confusion. Wisdom is you ain't gotta think that hard. Wisdom is simple. It's naturally in you. You have it. The spirit of wisdom is already in you. The Most High God said he didn't create the spirit of confusion. He's not the author of that. It's very simple. We have a... We, see, the problem with us, we make things complex based on what we think, what we feel, what we believe, without no verification of proving nothing. That's the problem with us. And then we just think we right or because we feel we right. But and you, you, you don't got nothing to verify that. You can't if you can't verify them using the word of God, it ain't real, man. Straight up and down, man. Um, I could stand here. Go, 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 go. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect, uh -huh. even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Said perfect. That's Christ. Christ told you to be perfect, but guess what? See, we say, oh, I can't be perfect. Ain't nobody perfect, but you can be. Christ said, be perfect. Christ said that the, the, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So guess what? If you don't think you can be perfect, keep the law. That's going to convert your soul, man. Simple as that. It's really that simple. Um, Give me, uh, 
man, it, it's so many precepts I can stand. You see, it, it's just so disgusting how it's so much misinformation, indoctrination. And on top of that already, people telling you not to do what God say. And who really should believe that? That you ain't got to do what God say. I ain't got to keep the commandments. Hey, check this out. I can stand out here from right now to 6 in the morning and quote, keep the commandments from Abraham all the way in Genesis, all the way through Jesus in Revelation. And you telling me the law is done away with? Whoever think the law is done away with, you can't find five scriptures to prove that. I give you a thousand dollars. Convince me that the law is done away with. Um, I'm going to just read my favorites, though. Give me um, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13. I mean, I mean, no, 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 Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. man, you know, like I say, man, with all this misinformation, it's easy to be confused. It's easy to be confused. And they pay people to lie to you. Um, 12 and 13. No, 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 no. You can give me Revelation 22 and 14. Give me Revelation 22 and 14. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. He said the whole duty of your existence for men keep the commandments. So why is man telling me I don't have to keep the commandments? Like I said, I can stand out here until 7 o'clock in the morning and read, keep the commandments in this Bible a, a million times. He said keep the commandments for this is the whole duty of man. That's it. That's the whole conclusion of the matter. Keep the commandments. Read this. It's the book of Revelation chapter 22 verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. No, 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 no. No, curse started. Blessed are they that do his commandments. No, the law is done away with. Blessed are they that do his commandments. No, Jesus died for my sins, so I ain't got to keep the law. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Uh -huh. That they might have right to the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And may enter and through the gates into the city. Amen. And with that, I'm going to say... Keep the commandments, man. Simply stated. Shalom. Amen. The ambassadors.